And good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Music for Gaming. All the gaming of those other streams, but none of the music. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. It is a, a fabulous day. I actually have sound today. Uh, my mic's not muted. It is the beginning of a great, great day. Or, you know, the end of one, depending on which side of things you look at it, you know? All right, uh, let's jump in. Uh, back here playing some Minecraft. And uh, as usual, as if I'd be playing anything else, you know. And uh, first thing I want to do is I want to finish this uh, fountain. And then uh, I'm going to take a little bit of break from working on the inside of this castle. Just to lay out some of the town outside. Okay, nothing too crazy. It's going to be pretty chill. So, uh, yeah. Now, the first thing I want to do, though, oh, is I want to head over here into the throne room. And I want to see about how high off that top thing roof is. One, two. So it's basically a half a block two blocks and another half block so cool and then the slab starts there so yeah yeah we can do that do i have slabs that is another very interesting question and why is there rotten flesh okay well we'll just um i guess maybe it was on fire and it walked in that is often how these things work. Ah, slabs. Awesome. All right. So let's see now. So I basically need to take out one, at least one more level of this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we'll just uh, take out a bunch of stuff. Also, it helps if I use the right, uh, all of the right stuff. You know what I mean? <sighs> okay, so we'll just take out a little bit more of this hillside. Oh, right. This is the, uh, it's not the hammer. No, 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 not not that one. The hammer was something else. All right, so just take out a little bit of this, a uh, little bit of th that there, like that. All right, so I need to bring out one, two. There and then the uh, the roof is going to start right there. Okay, and then it will angle down and be you know wonderful. But so this is going to have to go this way, and then okay. And I suppose I should put that torch. But can I actually click on stuff? That's that's how this works, with the clicking on the things. Can, can I? Can I? Can do this? All right. So that's going to come up that way. Now, do the same thing on this side, actually. Okay, so let's see if I, right, so that's all coming out, that needs to come out, and then I think that all needs to come out. Sure, sure, okay, that's, that's a thing, okay, cool. So now this gets to come across this way. There we go. And 
this has to come across here like this. Right, just to provide that lovely purple background. Even though that it's officially called blue terracotta, it's purple. They're, they could, you know, tell you it's blue, but now nah, it's just purple. Oh, what's that? I thought I was... So I looked over and saw an Enderman. Which, you know, would, I guess isn't unusual, but... Uh -oh. But, I guess it kind of would be, too, so, you know. It's just one of those things. Alright, cool. So, let's meander back here and just see how, how far down I went on this side. Okay. That's reasonable. Okay, so we'll grab some some glowstone. Let's see. I think. Yeah, I think I'll just put it right back there. That's basically where it is on the uh, throne as well. You can't see it from the ground, though. If you jump, you can kind of see it. All right, so now I need to bring this out this way just a bit. I don't think I want to go much further than that, though. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to match the match the roof in here. Basically, I want it to almost be, you know, miniature you know, throne room style stuff there. Okay, so. Yeah, nothing too crazy just enough to say oh look this kind of looks like the throne room but is not all right so now this comes across let's see probably one more but let's let's start there okay you know i've got a shovel I could actually use it. I know it's it's strange and weird, but that that is in fact a thing I can do. All right, so now I think it's the honey that goes right next to those stairs. The uh, glowstone goes on top of it to to light it up. Yeah. Okay, and then it's stairs coming down. All right, cool. Now this isn't as tall, so I don't need to worry about that that much, quite as much, but it's not going to be going out as far, and that's okay. That is just fine. All right, so what I need are stairs, and the stairs are going to come, whoops, not that way. Okay, stairs are going to come down like this. All right, and then I think I'm going to run some more honey out this way. Okay, because it's shorter, right? So what I'll do is I'll run honey. Yeah, how far? I, th I, think, I think just the three blocks, and then I'm... I may put a little bit of some other arch on this, but we'll go with this for now. Ack! Yo, no. No, no, that's not where that goes. It doesn't go there, it goes there. All right. So that's going to go that way. This is going to come here like that. All right. So I'll just get this honey coming out this way. And that way. And, you know, honestly, I'm not... I, I might just be able to come out here like this. That may just provide enough light through those honey blocks... Oh, no. 
No, 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 no. No, the problem is just that... The problem is that you can see through the honey, so... Which is actually part of the idea, but... Sort of softens the, the look of the glowstone there just a little bit. Okay. Alright, so that's almost there. Um, Alright, so let's grab some stair er, stairs, some trap doors. Oh, which way do the trap doors face? I don't remember. It's going to face one way or another. Okay, so they face that way. So the stripes are going parallel to the wall. Okay, that's great. I can do that. Right? So, yeah. So they just go in there like that. Now, now that looks, looks a little bit dumb. So I need to cap that off. And I think what I want to do here is let's take some honestly maybe i'll just take some stone brick and just come up here like this okay and just bring this across this way right okay so we'll just run this across like this oops that's too far think yeah okay now since I've got this up here I think maybe what I'll do is right I could do some wall and some terracotta and do that little pattern up there so that would be fine Add some terracotta right here. Which will be fun because I'm sort of stealing a little bit of this color there. So this will just blend all of this across this way. And I'm out. Do I have more? Oh, that would be really annoying. That's, that qualifies. Well, it definitely qualifies as annoying. Okay, great. We need more of this stuff. That's just how this works. All right, so I think I've got some. You're kidding. Yeah, you all should be ashamed. All right. I suppose I could trade for them, but I, I actually know that I've got some stuff here. Hey, Camaro. Welcome, welcome. I am playing on uh, PC. This is Java Edition. Oops, that's not what I, want. what I want here. I need some blue dye. There we go. There we go. That should be fine. And now we'll teleport back here. Oops, that's not where I want to go. Ah, let's come back here. All right. Yep, yep. All right, we'll just hop right up here for a moment. Now let's get some stone brick wall, which I think I have some crafted up already. That would be convenient if I did. I do, but that's not going to be enough. Come on. Uh, so... Could you? Well, let me answer this in two ways. Uh, the Windows 10 edition can't join Java, uh, for one thing. And for another, this server is, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not one I can grant access to. 
All right. So there we go. That's that's. <sighs> okay. I think maybe what I need to do is grab some stairs. Yeah. No worries, man. Oops, yeah. That's what I need. And I think. Oh, because I am so bad at organization here. I do not think I have any more stairs. So let's go craft a couple. Actually, let's double check that I didn't just end up with some in the junk box. Yep. That might, in fact, be enough. So as I was looking at this, I think I want to... I think I want to slap some stairs in here just to uh, just kind of smooth this out. You can build glowing roofs on house houses. Nice. Yep, that that can be fun. All right. So oh 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 the stairs screw with the well they do, but honestly I might be okay with that. I suppose I could turn them around, but I think that's going to be okay. I think that'll be be just fine. I don't know. No, I think I'm, I'm going to turn those stairs around. Because you come in here to the throne room. Ah, you have Xbox One X right now. Awesome. That's a nice, nice device. Right, so you can come in here to the throne room. And you can see the stairs. Right, they come running this way with the back of the stair against the wall. And that works just fine. And they just end up over there. I was going to sort of keep that going, but I think with the way I'm doing it, I might flip them over at the fountain. Okay. All right. that That's probably a thing I could do. So let's just hop up here. We'll just turn the stairs around. No big deal. Okay, the only issue I might have is how they end up. Yeah, oh yeah, makes zero difference at all. Well, no, I'm gonna take that back. It doesn't make zero difference, but it might make enough. Yeah, no, that's just... I'm going to turn the stairs back around, but I think I need to do something with these guys here because those stairs are a problem. They're just screwing up things. All right, so go and put those back. Two, three of those. All right. Oops. Well, took out one too many. It's a thing. It happens. You go with it. Okay, so this one I want there. Oh, what if I just put in slabs here? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not super thrilled with that, to be honest. No, not, not super thrilled with it. I, I think I need to do something else, but I'm not entirely sure what. Oh, my face itches. I don't know why. Just one of those days. All right, so that's fine. I'll go pick this stair up. Yeah, I think... What if I were to come up here and instead of stairs, I just put some slabs there? Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Keeps those from going crazy. Yeah, I'm still not totally enthused with the corners there. I may want to... Uh, I could use the, the blue, di er, blue diorite. Blue diorite would be kind of fun, actually. Use the blue terracotta. Right, slide that through there. Right. But I think I think that's gonna be okay. I think we'll just live stick with that. I it's one of those things I may look at it a little bit more closely as I 
get into working on this floor and stuff out here a little bit more. But it's it's okay. Oh, you do uh, <laughs> the pre-order the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Oh, that could be fun. Never got into the Mass Effect games. It was just not uh, not a series I was into. I think when most of those came out, I was. What was I doing? I don't know. I wasn't. I just. A lot of those, I just. What was I doing at the time? I can't remember. I'm old. That's what happens. You get old, you forget things. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop off some of the stone. One of these chests is empty. Maybe. Or not. Okay, I've got... Uh, <laughs> turns out I've got a lot of stone. And potentially a lot of coal. I need to do something. I eventually need to go mine all that out, but that's all right. Okay, so that's the beginning of that fountain. I said I may tweak it a little bit more. Is that, uh, Pick up a few uh, pieces I dropped. I may tweak it a little bit more as I bring the uh, floor out this way, right? Start decorating the floor, building some of the stuff in here. Okay, I think that's all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Some of those games, you know, collectors type. It's insane what you can get for them now. So, uh, all right. Okay, so now here's the thing. I need to do a couple of things out here because one, this looks ridiculous with all of that purple going on there so i am going to need to do a little terraforming here to bring this purple down or bring purple down bring the hill down though i suppose i could hide it or use the could use it potentially okay but for now i'm just going to bring this hill down this way And I don't want it to get look too unnatural here. So this this could be weird. Oh yeah, some of those unopened, yeah, they're well, it's like a lot of the unopened toys, right? Yeah, you know, in the collector's market, you can get a lot a lot of for those things. I have a bunch of cartridges. Uh, for the Atari that are, have been opened, but which uh, doesn't bring quite as much, you know. All right, I'm gonna need more dirt than that, but uh, but yeah, that's sort of the idea here. We just slide that down this way a little bit, and just bring some of this hill back, you know. Build it out that way so I cover up the purple. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, that's that plan. Now, ah, so here's the thing. I've got this area here. Now, that hill I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with. Uh, all of this this whole thing is going to be castle right through there. I might leave this hill a hill, which would be fine. That would be just peachy. But I do need to figure out what the heck is going to happen over here. All right, I've got this arch, which uh, I'm, I'm tempted to build in some form of... Well, not even tempted. Really thinking seriously about building some form of decorative nonsense in there. And I don't know how much of this I want to cover up, right? So when I ran into this in the theater, I just built that into the wall. The wall comes out. I put the design here. 
But if I do that, that design's going to kick out to, well, actually right about there. Well, no, the wall goes here. The design, the shield on the other side is going to stick out to this block here. So, well, that's okay. I mean, I could actually tear out a bunch of this. That would be interesting. And not necessarily a bad thing, actually. Just have to be a little bit careful coming around over there because I don't want to take out this row of stone needs to stay there. Okay, which is fine. Of course, I don't I don't have the uh, mining efficiency coming on over here, but it's all right. It's all right. I can, I can work with that. Oh, right. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to deal with that problem here in a little bit. Okay, because this... Uh, plan for this, right, was I was going to open up this with a little redstone door, right, just kick that open and stuff. Still have some of your original Pokemon cards? Awesome. Yep, those are, those are fun. That was a little after my time. I had some, I used to collect football cards and uh, some movie cards and stuff, but my kids got into Pokemon cards for a little bit. No, but I do have, sitting right back here on the shelf, is, uh, I do have some of my Atari cartridges. Like this one is, what is this one? This is Space Invaders. This one is the infamous E.T., the extraterrestrial Atari game. Yeah, so if they do exist, they didn't all get buried in New Mexico. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, especially since they buried the whole thing. I mean, the game didn't sell well. It wasn't good, but... I remember playing it. I never could quite figure out how the game actually worked. Because that's the wrong tool. So, I guess let me just fly up here. That'll be easier. Since I can fly, might as well. Okay, so this is going to open up this way just a touch. All right, take this out. In fact, what I could do is flatten this stone this way. And, yeah, now the question is, how far down do I want this one to go? Yep, because the, uh, the Atari was my very first game console back when I was knee-high and barely able to do anything. Yeah, I don't know if they've got the uh, original Charizard. I know that one popular for some reason or other. But I don't know. I don't they didn't they got into the Pokemon cards kind of late, so I don't think they have any of that gen anyway. Okay, so let's see. How far do I want this to go? That's always the question. So I can tear out all of this stone. I'm certainly going to, whoa, just tear out a lot of it. Should also probably go find a good place to sleep. You know, it's not as if I don't have a bed I can snuggle up in. Okay. All right, well, let me just clear this and then I'll Find a nice quiet spot to sleep. Drop a bunch of the stone off in the, in the item sorter so that I don't have to worry about it. Well, that's a that's a good card, I guess, if you got it. Yep. 
Yeah, I had some, I had some rare cards back in my day for various things, but. All right. We'll just drop all that stuff off, let that sort itself out, because that's why you build a sorting system, to sort stuff out. Okay. So. Yeah, so if I clear this out, yeah, clear that part out there as well. This might, this might work out okay. Let's see, how far do I want this to go? That's always the tough part here. It's, all right, well, I can remove all of this stuff and then put it all back. You know, that's, that's always fun, right? Nothing says fun like undoing all of your diggy diggy time. Well, I think this is going to come out this way. Okay, so I think this will work. Okay, here, I don't want to know that I want to come out too much further than this. Take out that stair. Okay, do I want to take it all the way back to the arch? Hmm, that is the question. I guess I'm going to. Sometimes you just have to answer those questions by accidentally clicking on a on your mouse button and just going with it. Okay, and that's going that way. Cool. All right, yeah, so now... Oh, that, well, that kind of worked out well. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's sort of balanced, which is nice. All right, all right, well, that's cool. That is really cool, all right. So the next thing is now, how much further down do I want this to go? And probably, ET games worth 170k now. Nice. You know, if I got, I think I even stream. Uh, no, I can't stream the Atari. It's like, did I stream that one? No, I don't have the adapter to hook my Atari up to the to my uh, Switch. That would be fun to stream that one of these days, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and just. Take this down one more row. Uh, but yeah, so that would be, you know, let's go seriously old school. We'll, I want to play these old Atari games on the Atari, not on an emulator. So I do still have my Atari, though it's the 7800. My 2600 died a while back. All of those old controllers. Man, that was one of the best controllers I've used, that old joystick. I think my paddles still work, too, but... I don't have too many games that actually use those. There are a few. I had Pong. Pong was definitely one of those that uh, was happy with the paddles. Oh, Air Sea Battle might have used them, too. I don't recall... All right, so those go there, put that there. All right, that's where the, just like, why is it so dark there? Yeah, that's where the uh, beacon was. I didn't light it up after I moved the beacon. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. Oh, I need to stretch. You ever get that moment where it's like, just your back tightens up, your shoulders feel stupid. Maybe it's just me in my old age, but. Oh, um, yes. Let's grab some of this. Let's grab some andesite as well. But I want to come in here with some brick. Okay. And this is basically just going to add a little bit of texture here. I don't, maybe I won't leave, put in the andesite. Let's just put in the brick. Okay. 
I just want to, it's just a little flat there on that side, so. Autographed Xbox controller. Nice. Yep, it's fun when you can find those things that are a uh, specialty in some way. Okay, so that's going to go there. Now, how, how much room do I have here? Okay, that's the top of the mountain. So pretty much that's it. So I could come in here with some stone stairs. I only have the one, but just to smooth that curve out a little bit. I've already mentioned I'm going to be doing some uh, terraforming. One of a kind. Nice. Yeah, I mentioned I'm going to be doing a little terraforming here just to connect these hills. I'm going to do the same thing on that side. I think I want to leave this built up this way because the plan is once I get the uh, get this all terraformed up that way, I want to fill this in with glass. Let's do sort of fog effect down to the water level. Now what I might do down at the water level is clean out a bunch of that stuff and actually put in a really, really inefficient squid farm. And it's only inefficient because look at all this water around here. But, yeah, it would be a thing. We'll see what happens. I haven't heard any uh, decisions on what's going to happen to the server once uh, 117 comes out. That could could take up some... Uh, could take up some bandwidth. It's like, what are we going to do with this? And it's possible Mandolin may just decide to uh, reset the server and we'll start season two. Huh? But, you know, it is what it is. All right, so drop that stuff off into the sorter. Let it sort, because that's just what it's good at. Okay, so now. So yeah, I might bring that down a little bit, but I kind of like where it's at. Bringing it down a couple of blocks would expose the bottom of that rectangle, kind of like it is here. And then I can do a little bit of uh, a little bit of playing with it. The catch is I can't really do a shield, right? So I've got this sort of shield design out front here. And it just hangs down below ground level, which is great. But uh, won't work quite as well on the inside right here, just because there isn't going to be room for it. So, so I may not. I may, I may have to play with this just a little bit, just to see what I want to do here. In fact, this whole area. Right, because I've got the castle here. Uh-oh. Well, I'm just going to grab one of these blocks of stone. We're going to fill that in right there. Perfect. In fact, what I might do is just take this, uh, take this pattern, mirror it over here, just replicate that, that design right there. Okay. And then what I could do is actually turn this into, I don't know, some sort of park. Actually, that would make some sense. A little bit of a park, throw, throw some, a lot of grass, some, some flowers, probably a fountain, which would make some sense. In fact, if I build a, a fountain out and around this, yeah, that would, that would be able to make use of this without... Uh, Messing up too much else. I could live with that. Okay, so I'm going to need some more stairs. And uh, figure out where this is. Alright, so it's lined up with the last thing over here. It's at this, this row. So it looks like right about there. Is that right? Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so now we'll just uh, 
draw the circle. Okay. Yeah, I think that's right. I'll, I'll end up filling it in with... Uh, the corners will get filled in with stone stairs. I have to look. I, I'm not sure I have any more of the black glazed terracotta. At least not over here, so... I'll have to go look at that. But... Oh no, I've got to widen that out more. Because the corners are actually the stairs. Alright, so let me go craft some stairs. And then we'll... Uh, Fill that out, and I'll take a look and see if I have any more of that terracotta here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go find some. And by find, I mean craft, because that's how the game works. <sighs> Which, eternal question. Was I smart enough to actually sort things? The answer to that is no. No, no, okay. Seven o'clock, still in sleep. Keep the monsters at bay. Yes, yes. Goodbye, monsters. Goodbye, monsters. Goodbye, monsters. I have to find this stuff. Okay, yeah. All right, well, that's, that's fine. Let's check my storage, see what I got over here. Okay, some glazed terracotta. Oh, I do. Sweet. That'll work. All right, so I need the stairs, need the terracotta. Awesome, I'm gonna need my wrench. And then I need to sit down and, once I get this stuff in, figure out where I'm going to start putting some city pieces. All right, so let's see now. Uh, before I put the stairs in, let's get the terracotta in. Uh, yes, I know this is not in the right direction. I'll fix that in a minute. Oops, I didn't get uh, the stone brick stairs. Okay, and I need to uh, get some more of the blue terracotta here just to uh, fill out the rest of this wall. Right, so that's going to come out. This comes out. Okay. All right, well, there we go. All right, so I'm going to go get my, the rest of my decor. All of the decorations. There's so many. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. Okay. Well, there's some brick. That's fine. Um, okay, there's the terracotta. Fabulous. Just double checking to see. That's just polished blackstone. Polished blackstone, not polished blackstone brick. And this is the brick variety, so. I'm gonna just grab all of that. Got the stairs. Oh, and then I need to pull out um, the inner chest. Yeah, grab my wrench. I like the wrench. This is, you know, this is, this is how the, uh, Terracotta gets placed in a much nicer way. All right, so first things first. Let's get the terracotta in here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So it's going to go like that. Well, might as well just fill it in. Doesn't make that much of a difference, but. I suppose it could to somebody at some point in the future. All right, great. So now, oops, throw the stairs in. You know, I'm going to try putting them in the right place, but uh, I'm going to fail at that, so. All right, 
So I think I need one more stair there. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, now let's get the, the walls in. There we go. And now we come at this with the wrench. How do I do that? Yeah. The black part goes there. And I think it matches up like that. Yeah. Cool. So that's not bad, though. I think what I want to do here is take out some of this brick. Okay, and I'm just going to replace this with the stone. Okay, because that's definitely a thing that should happen. All right, now the reason that's a thing that should happen is it's going to make this look better. Right, because now it's not caught up with the stone brick and doesn't have any of that weird stuff. So, so yeah. So that'll be, that will be fun. All right, cool. So let's go and put the wrench away. more I do not okay well that's fine it's all lit yep cool all right so some sort of little park garden thing and then uh <clears throat> actually if I come up here like this oh come on you can do it <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the stairs I'm gonna stairs here like this Okay, and that's just going to bring that that way, <clears throat> take that out, there we go, double check the light levels here, <clears throat> should be fine, hang on a sec, ah oh, man, throat frogs are annoying, also annoying is that light that's there. Or, or the lack of light that's <clears throat> on top of those. Nothing is going to be quite as fun as having uh, creepers or something spawn in those gaps and drop on me. That'll be, that'll be wonderful. Oh, well, that's a problem for future me. All right, so let's take a look now at what's happening here. So I'm going to put the uh, apparently some sort of <clears throat> some sort of park over here, which would be great. So now I need to just figure out where the city goes. And uh, let's see. Step one, I think I want to just, just sort of clean up this hill a little bit. Not entirely sure how exactly I want to do that. But for now, let's just bring it this way. Just run it down that way a little bit. All right, so now, excuse me, we got all this stuff. Some tasty wontons for dinner. And uh, yeah, just a little gassy a little bit now. So that's going down that way because that's just where the hill ends up going. So I think I'm going to want to fill this in to s just a bit and then uh, or build a little something on top of it. And just go down with the basement, I suppose. All right. The other thing I'm going to fill in, I think I'm going to fill in this pond. I mean, it's nice, but yeah, I think it's in the way. So let's go get some dirt. 
I wasn't planning on doing a whole lot of terraforming and stuff tonight, but just as I'm looking at this, I'm definitely going to need to. So. Okay, so drop off the terracotta because it's definitely a thing that is no longer needed. At least not for now. It's nice to nice to know what's around though. Okay, so the idea here. I suppose I could just soak up all this water, but for now, it's fine. So let's just let's just fill this in. Okay, so I'll just run this all this way. All right, so yeah, this is gonna slide right on down here. Like this, and bring it around. And you know, perhaps get out of the water at some point. Oh, and water is nice. You know, it's, sometimes it's fun to relax in a pool, a bathtub, you know, any of those things. Okay. Now, I am really bad at doing landscapes and making them look natural, so this is, this is going to be interesting. Bring this hill out this way just a little bit. Okay. And these guys can come out. All right, now let me go hop in bed and then I'll take a look. I need to do some stuff on this side of the hill. And then I need to look at buildings. Now I don't have any particular plans on Oh, I'm going to put a blacksmith here and a stable there and a, you know, whithersoever somewhere else. Right? I haven't, uh, I haven't planned that far ahead. But, you know, at the very least, I'm going to hide this purple. All right, so I'm just gonna just cover up this stone. I guess I can move that torch too. Okay, so yeah. All right, so I've covered that up. All right, now I said I I could always build something over here that takes advantage of that purple, but for now, I'm not going to. I'm just going to uh, kind of just let the let the hill cover it. Alright. Okay. Yeah, so the idea is then I've got the hill going there. And now it's just a matter of laying out what goes where. So, just clear that path. Okay, speaking of path, I'm going to have some sort of road coming out this way to some sort of square. Let's go and pop out this shulker. And basically, I'm just going to use some white wool just to lay out where where I think I want to stick some buildings, okay? Now, so let's just double check this. Uh, all right. So I think, therefore, I see a dark spot. There we go. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is let's so I'm going to co go ahead and cover this hole up. Okay, it's just gonna come this way. Now I may 
end up digging up this dirt in the future, but for now, for now, it's just going to be dirt. Okay, I just want to bring this ground out so it's a little more, a little bit more flat, you know. Now I may, that actually wouldn't be a bad thing. I'll just bring it down this way just a little bit. But, uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm out of dirt. Well, fortunately, I have a couple of boxes of dirt, so. I am uh, lousy for dirt. Okay. All right, grab a little bit more here. Now, one of the things I want to do with this whole project is that I'm trying to build with the landscape to some extent. So I don't want to cut into it too much. Of course, says the guy that tore or completely tore down the mountain that was sitting here. But I do want to bring out... this way but when I lay out the town I don't necessarily want it to be on this perfect grid system you know we're not talking about you know Utah streets or anything like that you know or pretty much the streets of any major city really I want something that's a little little twisty little a little curvy, you know. It's got a little flavor to it, right? Mozzarella. Mozzarella flavored streets. Yeah, there's a thing. It's it's Our streets aren't paved with gold. They're paved with cheese. Yes, we do have a little bit of a, a rat problem, but, uh, you know, that's why we have cats. It's all good, right? Sure. <sighs> Boy, that, that would smell really bad. Okay, let's fill that in there. Oh, how how desperate would you have to be to eat cheese streets? These are streets that people have been walking on and driving on, and your, the horses have been going across all day, the llamas. You know, I I... I think I would have to be pretty desperate to want to eat mozzarella cheese streets. Well, if you dig down a little. I guess that's true. You, you take out the first layer. You know, of course, it's been sitting out in the hot sun. Is it even... It's probably not going to be fresh. The whole town would probably stink. Yeah, so I'm thinking mozzarella cheese streets are going to be a, a mistake. So, probably avoid that. Okay. But, yeah. Let's, that, that's not where that goes. Okay, so. So, I'll just go ahead and fill this in. It's just going to flatten this area out a little bit. Which will be a little bit nicer to, as I come out here and start building whatever, you know, city thing ends up out here. Okay. Great. So. All right. So first things first, let's figure out where the, say, town square basically is going to be. Let's frame it. Maybe we'll start there. And let's bring it maybe to here. All right, now, the thing with a square is they do tend to be square. So one, two, three. Actually, I need to count this block too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Cool. Two. Two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so, so that'll be the town square. So I won't be putting a building there, but that's that's where that's going to live. So now all roads are going to pull off of this. So let's see. Let's put a let's put a little dirt down here actually. Just to fill in this hole here a little bit. Okay, so let's put in a building right around here. And let's come in this way. Oops. You know I should get my shears. <laughs> you know, that's just one of those things. I should find me working with wool. Be nice to oops, that's dirt. Be nice to have some shears around. There we go. All right. So let's bring this sort of this way. I'm going to, yeah, let's see. How far out from that do I want it to go? I guess uh, I'll go one more. And I'm going to just sort of diagonal across here. I think I want to go like this. Okay. And so just bring that in like that. And definitely throw some light on this because I really, really don't want stuff to, to spawn on me here. Cool. So, so that'll work. So I'll put one building there. Let's bring another one. Let's bring another one out this way. Now, do I, I don't think I want them to touch. I think I want... Yeah, I think I want a little bit of an alley of some sort here. So let's go ahead and just bring this... Let's bring this this way just a little bit. Okay. All right, now, if I've got... If I've got Town Square here... I'm going to have road coming off this way. You know, and I've got this right here too. So what if I were to bring this out, say, from there? No. Here. Oops. Well, you know, some of this stuff is going to end up in the right place, perhaps, eventually. That jump kicked in just about the right time. All right. All right. I can do this. Oh, man. Shoot, the number of days I sat down and played Space Invaders. Man, that was... That was nuts. A lot of fun with Space Invaders. I used to be pretty good at it. That was a long time ago. All right, so let's see. So that's about, yeah, so that's about right. Like that missile command. Oh man, missile command was fun. All right, so I'm gonna run the, this, uh, Diagonal kind of that way. Okay. So I'll throw a couple of buildings there like that. I think I'm going to want one sort of built up over here near the, along this wall, right? It's, you know, you get a lot of towns. They build up around the walls. Some of them actually use the city wall as part of the wall of the building. Okay, but it's just definitely a thing that can happen. Yeah, let's just let's just 
take one house here. In fact, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just take advantage of this uh, little bit of the shape that's going on here. And let's just go ahead and bring a little bit more of a rectangular building. Now remember, buildings are rectangular because it's easier to build, not just in Minecraft, but also in real life. Okay, they didn't... Uh, they didn't build them uh, rectangular just for grins and giggles. It was actually just a lot easier to work with. Okay, so that's going to go that way. Um, so I suppose I could have this stick out this way maybe a little bit. Just to if this comes out like that. Okay. That would, that might make a little bit of sense. All right. All right, so let's see what's happening over here now. What's happening over here is it's dark. Okay, so I'm trying to clear out some of this darkness here. Yeah, not, well, no, eventually all of it is going. This whole area will be lit up and safe and and sound, and I won't have to worry about anybody, you know, spontaneously exploding down here. But okay, so that's let's see. So the next building, right? So that's Town Square. I suppose I could shift it that way a little bit, which might make a little bit of sense. All right, so let's do a, a building here. And I want to do it Okay, I'm going to do it at a bit of an angle, which is going to be kind of fun, right? Hmm. All right. So now, let's see. Let's see, I think I think I don't know what I'm doing is what I think. All right, so now this one's going to have to come this way. Okay. Um, do I want it to come out any further? Yeah, let's do it a little bit further. Okay. Like that. Uh, let's take this out. Okay, and now I want to bring out this way. Okay, so now it comes that way. Like that. Okay, so something along these lines. Now that's probably a little bit too far. Okay, so now this and then Yeah. Okay, yep, definitely a little bit too far. So cool. Alright, so now there's that little guy. Hello, Dark Hill side. Ah, uh, the Dark Hill side. Do you do, do something about the Dark Hill side? He's Dark. Okay, so that's going to go that way. Um, just sort of backed up towards that hill. Let's see, I think I want to bring a bring one down this way. And let's see. Let's actually. Up, up in this corner here? Over here. Ah, okay. Little fountain statue thing up here. I can do that. I can totally do that. Just sort of turn this into sort of park area. You know, it's hard to build here. There really isn't room. So, yeah, that's an idea. 
so I could run a path sort of between this building and let's put another building here. Now this one, I think I'm going to build straight, I think. Hmm. How close do I want it to get? I think maybe to there. Yeah, that's not too bad. Then I can build the path up that way and Okay, so that's an idea. Let's go just so these don't need to be gigantic buildings. But you know, they should be should be here, you know. Should definitely have a little bit of, of uh space to them anyway. And I'm not I don't know what they're all gonna be. So they I'm certainly not planning this. I don't know if they're going to be, some of them are going to be shops, some of them are going to be other things, but, okay, now, do I want to, I think I need to take out, I think I need to maybe take out part of this hill. Okay, because I want to put some, some stuff here across that wall, just that, the hill here as it sits, is just a touch big. Okay, now I don't necessarily need to take out the whole hill, but let's just take out some of it and see what see what happens, eh? Okay. Yeah, see that's gonna be a little bit better. It's not quite as steep, and I can do uh I can do a little bit of something with it, right? Yeah, sure. Fill that some of that back in, but let's. Hmm. So I do want to build up. Actually, I could just build a house on the hill. Oh, and then have a give it a. It's like a, I call it like a basement. I don't know if you've ever been in a uh, multi-level house where it's like built on a hill. So one floor, like the front door is at ground level, but there's a hill that falls off the back. And so the, there's like a basement that also has a ground level door because of the way the hill goes down. That could be fun. And let's, I think, now here's the other question. Do I want to, angle it. I think I do. I think I do. And let's see, do I want to take it at that same sort of uh, 45 here? Wow, that's just wrong. Okay. Where do I want to take it in some other way? Let's, let's start with the 45. Now this was what, about two two blocks between, something like that. So I can continue something along those lines here. Okay. And, ooh, I am out of wool. See how much I have in the shulker box. I might have to go get more wool. Okay, that's enough for now, but I'm almost certainly going to have to go get more wool. Oh, jump in, jump in, sleep in. All right. Yes, the number of times I did like an atomic power dive into bed, you know. It's like, when I was a kid, it's like, I wanted to fly into bed. Woo, clunk. Okay, so this is, this will come up. I'm actually going to bring it up this way a little bit. Now, yeah, it's not there. Definitely not there. Okay, so now let's bring it this way. Now this is going to be a little, well, it's going to be a little funky. There's no getting around that. This is definitely going to be a little 
a little bit weird, but we'll go with it because it's going to be fun. Okay, so I think I'm, I'll end up taking out part of this hill, but let's just run the blocks along the top of it for now. Okay. So what's fun is it actually gets a little bit narrower over here. All right, let's take this tree out. I've got an ax, right? Yes, I do in fact have an ax. And I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna go ahead and shear these leaves. I'm gonna want them for a number of reasons, but one of which is, hey, I kinda, do I kinda want some, to hide some ground stuff? All right, now what I wanna do is I actually wanna bring these, uh, I wanna bring this wall over this way just a bit. Cause I wanna come in Oh, let's come out of the, the castle here. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna bring this right across here like this. And so that'll tie in right about there. Okay, so how's that size-wise? That's not too bad. Yeah, it's going to narrow some. In fact, I might even. Oh, that might be interesting. What if I bring this this way a little bit? Okay, so what if I bring it at a little bit more of an angle? So I'm going to use this, this same angle. I've used it a couple of times here already. Okay, now let's take this wool out. Okay. Yeah, I think that's gonna work out pretty well. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right, so bring this in here and a couple of that way. And then, right. So something sort of along those lines. Yeah, I think that's going to be a fun little building there. Wow, I thought I had... I might just have to get over here with some blue wool. thought I had taken care of the uh, spawnableness on, on this. I thought I had enough light there, but apparently not. Okay, well then... Let's just do it this way for now. Take care of uh, all of that, but okay. So we're gonna have some road then coming through here, coming into sort of the town square area. Road will then come back this way, past this building, past those buildings, into the park that's gonna be there. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have sort of the road come through town. Then a, a, come with a path to, up this way to a, to a statue. I'm going to have to figure out how to build a statue. That'll be fun. Um, okay. All right. So now, now where do I want to put things? Go ahead and take these trees down because they are definitely going to be in the way. almost certainly be putting some back but you know once i get the once i get the buildings in and stuff i'll want to build in some greenery and you know, some of these some of these buildings are gonna maybe they'll be residential they'll want some sort of decorative stuff or even commercial properties often have uh, you know gardens and greenery and stuff right some of that's mandated by the city. Some of it's just because it looks cool. But. Okay. So we'll just 
hop up here and get some light going. Now, here's the fun thing. Now, this all sort of narrows up here. All right, so let's, I'm just going to come take a quick little sky view of this. I think I need a building right there. All right, so I've got, I'm going to have some there, small one over there. All right, these guys here come up to a path statue wise up that way. Stone. I do have a stone stair. Cool. Just do that. Ha ha! No longer spawnable. All right. So yeah, a little building tucked in right here would be good. Okay. Now the idea will be then to have some sort of. It's going to have a tunnel under this hill. Coming out this way somewhere. All right. Sorry the. The light's now getting in the way. <laughs> All right, so the tunnel's going to come through here. Out into sort of neighborhoods over that way. And maybe over this way. But actually, let's figure out where this is. So this is at Y level 82. Okay. Fabulous. So if I'm coming over here now, <clears throat> obviously, this is going to be higher than that, but not by much. All right, so there's a tunnel right there. Yeah, right there. So this is at 86, which then comes down here, which I'll probably want to flatten this down a bit. Okay, I said I've, I've already dug these tunnels, obviously. Right, because I'm going to have some, some sort of neighborhoods over there, sort of in that area, and I'm going to, I'm going to continue some over here as well. So, all right, great. So, I think, I think what I want to do is jump back to the storage and here and. Uh, Drop off some of the uh, materials I've picked up. Just to uh, you know, I've got some stuff here. Unfortunately, I think I'm just looking at this like, man, this none of this is going to fit here. I'll just jump to my main storage. All right, so the leaves will go in there, the logs. Actually, I'll save the spruce. I don't need the oak right now, but I definitely need the spruce. And that can go in there, too. Okay. Because the, the spruce I can just dump here. Well, I could have put the oak there, too, and the leaves and the, you know, but. Okay, through the doorway. Yeah, I'm going to, I'll block this off. I may do nothing with it, but I'm definitely going to definitely block that off in some way. In fact, I've got some stone brick right here. There. Cool. <sighs> All right. So let's just... Up over this way. Now, I did that because I want to uh, share this, this tree. There. Okay. So, this tree has some interesting problems. Okay, that's my storage. Cool. <laughs> I mean, sure. All right. Why not? I can, I can totally have dark, spooky holes of doom, you know, falling over here. Why not? Okay. Oops. 
well, turns out that wasn't with my shears, but. All right, grab a quick, uh, if I can drop the leaves off there, logs there, take a nap, and let's go back and get some sleep. We'll go back, lay out another building over here, and just see what else we can do, right? Okay, so. Do I have, I don't have dirt, that's okay. So I think what I'll do is take this dirt. It wasn't a lot though, it turns out. Yeah, not, not a lot of dirt there. That's okay. And so I'm gonna run a building. I should probably write. Ah, I'm gonna come across this wall. Certainly. Um, I guess it would sort of make sense to level up with that wall, so let's not do that. Let's actually just bring this this way. Okay, so this is going to come, come this way a little bit. And if I'm bringing some road that way, let's kind of just bring this one right over to here. Right, so this, that's almost certainly going away. And yeah, I'm gonna just bring this right across here like this. All right, cool. All right, now I'm gonna play some with this tunnel. It's not gonna stay there. I mean, the, the tunnel's probably gonna stay there, but it's, I think I'm going to actually drop it down a little bit, which means this building will probably come down a little bit too. I'm going to want to bring it down at least, at least one level, okay? Because right now I've got to hop up the hill and I'm not going to want to do that, so. Okay, so that's, that's definitely going to be a thing that happens. All right. Wow, out of torches, cool. All right, so we've got, again, taking a little aerial view here. And I'm gonna take, let's take this tree down and see where else things are gonna lay out here. Got all the all that stuff that I'm not going to need for now. So the tree is just sort of in the way. Okay, I'm sorry, tree. You were inconvenient. You must go away. That's not unlike a lot of people. I you were, you were inconvenient. I really would rather you just go away. Okay, so let's see. So I've got this this building here. So what if I do one coming this way at sort of an okay, sort of an odd angle. Okay, so what if I come out this way? All right, so hang on, grab it cold make some more torches okay all right so this is um no that's going to come out too far that way just because the, there's sort of a natural road here right so i'm going to have this road coming down this way out of the tunnel and i said i may even drop it down a little bit but um you can kind of see where this Get rid of that so you can see. You see sort of this saddle here where the hills come down. There's almost a natural road that comes right through here. All right, so I don't think I want to block that. So let's 
Let's maybe work work it this way some. Alright, so I'm gonna just run this. Okay, like kind of like that. And then what I could do. Okay, so if I run this that way, let's make sure I'm doing this right. Let's see, do I put it, I don't know about torches? No, I think I put it here. Okay, hang on, I gotta get this. This wool is, is confusing me. I mean, all of the wool is really confusing me, but Um, I think, I think that's wrong. Okay. Yeah. Darn it. Ah, so two, three, it's actually should probably be four. And then... Not, not on top of the torch. That's come that way. It's actually an interesting shape for the building. Um, oh, and this is actually too long. I'm doing three and two. So that's two and that's three. So that goes there. Okay. One of these days I'll get this in some fairly reasonable uh, something fairly close to being right. Okay. Now the catch is here, I'm gonna run into this building. So I might want to, uh, I don't really wanna take that for, uh, 45, but I do need to bring this side out a little bit more. Okay, so let's try Try doing it this way. Yeah, because that might be. Yeah, that might be good. And then if I were to take this in this way. Yeah, so this is this is the uh, weird part. It's like, okay, where am I going to put this building? Right where that torch was. Ah, there we go. Not bad, though I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that out. I just wanna sh shove this wall back a, a space. Okay, so that's all gonna go that way. I think, I, yeah, so this way. Am I doing it? No, it's going the wrong way. <laughs> I'll go the wrong way. Okay, so this will come this way. There we go. Yeah, just like that. So now that gives me this lovely spot here. Okay, I can go there like that. Okay, yes, this is going to work out just fine. So, fine. So, I'm going to come out one more that way, I think. And then, nope, not that one. Okay, yeah, the, all of the angles here on these buildings are going to be 
Uh, going to be a little bit crazy. Speaking of crazy, this, uh, this tower is going to need to, it's going to be in the way. Um, let's see. I suppose I can just take it down. That would be fine. That'd be totally peachy. Okay, so we'll just, uh, let's do that. Now, being admittedly somewhat careful to to not take out the castle wall itself, that would be a, that would be a problem. Okay, so let's take this out. It's about about night, so really should go find a bed. Especially since it's dark out here, and there's uh, other creepy crawlies around. All right. Yes. Yeah, so this will be this will be great. Alright, so that right, this is gonna go this way. Cool. So now I can take that there like that. Alright, so yeah, now some part of this wall is going to not be here. Right, I think if I come down and take this out like that. You know, something, something sort of along these lines. That'll make some sense. I'm, I'm going to leave this, that stone column right there. Not that one, but this one right here. I'm going to leave that for, for now. Um, I kind of feel like there's going to be some stuff going on there. Okay. How am I doing on wool? Not great, in fact. So I'm going to have to go get some more, but. Yeah, and so coming over here. I'm going to have a little statue, right? Right, just a little, little statue of a person here. You know, it'll be. Kind of looking not at all like that, but anyway, so there's going to be a statue there. All of some path coming down this way. Okay, because yeah, that would be fun. You know, a little statue, a little f fountain, maybe a little, maybe a waterfall. You know, something, something pretty, right? That building's going to be there. Let's see what else we got now. I think I need to figure out what's going to happen to that tunnel before I place a building here. Do I want to leave it only three blocks wide, for example, or do I want to widen it another couple of blocks? All right, th those are good questions. Yeah, because if I drop this down, go that way, widen this a little bit, that would make some sense. So I like having it a little wider. That's just going to be too narrow. Question is, do I want to have it five blocks wide or seven? All of those are interesting questions um, that I should eventually have answers to. Of course, that's an axe. Turns out axes not nearly as efficient at uh, removing dirt as shovels. Especially this shovel. Okay, and all right. So let's see. So this will make it five wide if I do it this way. Let's grab the, the dirt here. All right, and then let's go ahead and. Oops, that's the wrong. Grab the hammer. All 
Okay, and so we'll just take this this way a little bit. Clearing out some of this stuff too. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna bring this road this way. All right, now I should probably throw a couple of torches in here just to just to keep the creepy crawlies from creeping and crawling. All right, yeah, that makes sense. This is 74. So I'm putting this around or 82, right? And this is 84. So I could probably even uh, drop this down another couple. Right, I could drop this tunnel down another couple blocks, but I think this is going to be okay here. Okay, right, does that make sense? Sure, I hope so. All right, let's go drop some stuff off. The tree bits all go in there. Yeah, a lot of them go there too. Stone's gonna come up in there. Dirt. Yeah, I'm gonna put dirt up in that box right there. It's a nice box. You know? Right, and that's yeah, empty of the wool. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go uh, get some more wool to finish blocking out some of the city. But what I've got is starting to make a little bit of sense. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just... So that's going to have to go that way somewhat. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Run this uh, this way. Okay, so now this is five blocks wide, which I think is a good size for this tunnel. This one I'll will go five blocks wide as well. So we'll go this way. Now it sounds like there are some unruly neighbors. I just heard a skeleton rat run around. This one, I think I'm going to, oh yeah, definitely want to lower this one down. In fact, let's go and do that now, and then I'll figure out if I want to bring it even lower. There are some, uh, certainly some reasons for wanting to do that. Okay, right, so. In this case, the uh, where this is going is significantly lower. Okay, so just uh, throw a couple of torches in here. All right. Yeah, it sounds like there's a cave or something in and around this uh, particular tunnel. Which, you know, it's okay. I can evict the natives. They won't mind. When has that ever been a problem? Okay. Yeah, because you can see that's down, what is that, about 74? Down here about 80. Okay, so I was talk talking about maybe 82 over there and 82 here. So actually, that sounds like it's going to be a reasonable option to take this whole tunnel system down to about Y82. All right. Okay, drop off. Well, this was not quite where I wanted to be, but it'll work. In fact, um, yeah, it'll work just fine. 
what I'll do is I'll just cook all of this stone. Maybe I'll kick, cook those uh, stone bricks too, because why not? Okay, let's stick that in there. And since I don't need them right now, I think I'll, those can go into storage. I'll come back and pick them up eventually, right? Sure. Oh, since I'm here and my frame rate is garbage because of the uh, sorting system here. Nope. It's like, do I have more wool? The answer to that is a resounding no. Six. That should work. All right. Hey, let's go buy some wool. And the best place to buy wool is at Walmart. So let's head over there and grab some. Right, because that's definitely a thing. All right, here's all the... Let's come back to... Nope, you get to be awake. We'll talk to Zelda over here. Zelda, give us all this. All the wool we can need. Thank you. I will indeed come again. All right. Okay, so I'm going to... Drop most of this wool off in the shulker box here for the for the moment, because what I need to do is uh, I want to take care of this tunnel. Okay, which means this building may uh, may need to. Well, actually, I could put the front gate here, perhaps with a door. You know, I could do some stuff. All right, so I want to take this down to eighty-two, two, so right there. All right, I have to just jump, making sure I'm looking at the right thing. All right. The other thing I could do is I can run the, a tunnel here and actually put a bridge across this if I wanted to, if I wanted to, to take that approach, which could be a fun approach. So let's come out here with the hammer. Okay, so just so I can drop this whole tunnel down a couple of blocks. Oh yeah, something's definitely cranky. Me and Ron Weasley. I don't like spiders. Hmm. Okay. Just realized that my tunnel has got an interesting uh, width issue. Because I think I set this thing up to be five wide, but at the wrong spot. Which is okay, I guess. Just have to figure figure that out, but. Yeah, I think this is going to make some form of sense. Okay. Yeah, because it'll come down here. I'll just take that out. Okay. Yeah, that'll make sense. So as you, you come out of this tunnel. Okay. And that'll be good there like that. Yeah. Definitely screwed up something here, but it's okay. Sounds like they're probably just on the other side of this wall, which is a definite possibility. But I am carving through a mountain, so the, the uh, possibility of caves is high. Okay, 
so I'm gonna go ahead and just carve this this way. All right. Now, all right. I may I may change this here just a little bit, but. Let's see where this is coming out. It's coming out here. Yeah, having it come up in, at an angle isn't a bad thing. In fact, if it comes out at an angle right down this slope, that actually might be a very good thing. Okay, but that's a, again, I think that's a problem for, for future me to some extent. Yeah, because if this road's going to come up this way, I'm going to want to widen here. Yeah, I'm going to want to bring this this way a bit. Whoa! Found it! Found the cave! Uh, it's, uh, it's right there. I can trigger a block update on that spider. Let's see. Or I'll just shoot the spider. That's okay too. I mean, it's certainly not going to come up here and get me. <laughs> what a spider's going to do? Climb? Silly spider. Ah, cheese nuggets. Okay, so uh, turns out it's a little shot me in my watch. That's an inconsiderate uh, skeleton, I must say. Okay. Anyways, I was playing with this tunnel. Because I think I wanna, I'm going to go ahead and take this this way. And just carve this out right through here, like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just right through here like this. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be perfect. Yeah, I like this. Now that's taking out too much here, but it's okay. That's fine. We'll just uh, we'll just figure something out here. Okay, you know, just just slap a few uh, torches down. You know, like you do. Which you know you actually do in Minecraft because that's just how Minecraft works. And there's a lot of stone there. Great. Well, that's what happens when you uh, pull a lot of material out of a mountain. You end up with a lot of material. All right, so that's going to go there. The stone's going to go. Oh, that's just about full there, too. Okay. That can go in there. It'll actually end up in that box over there, but it's okay. All right. So I'll pick up all the the uh, debris here. Don't want to lose some of that anyway. Yeah, let's just there. That's that'll be good. I'll be reminded of that cave, but for now. Okay, so good. So this is gonna come in this way now. Hello, man. How's it going? Okay, so now this is going to have... There's going to be a whole separate neighborhood right here. Right, so this area is going to be... It's going to be sort of filled out. We've got outside wall coming across this way. Yeah, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to turn this into a wall. That's why that stone is going that way. 
this big whole big smash is turning into a castle right so like i've got the that castle there which needs a lot of decorating and a lot of stuff right now it's just boring walls i'll do the same thing type of thing here build out around this mountain okay probably actually I probably might put a gate through there have this as an open courtyard right and have this as this is coming through right into the same neighborhood that I just dug the this tunnel into okay All right so that's the idea is I'll you know a couple ways into the different neighborhoods And it's because this is going to be a, a big city. So it's there's going to be different boroughs. There'll be you know, neighborhoods or, you know, all that type of thing coming out. Right. All the way around this way. So that castle is going to be huge. So I'm going to be doing some fun stuff with that, I think. Right. This is going to come out and be be part of the castle as well right you can see this whole giant mountainous hill right all out this way that's all going to be castle turning all of that into a castle so there's going to be a lot of interior space to that too so so we've got some city outside city going up here basically have an indoor thing i'm thinking of putting in a big oh a big library in there and then outside the walls in that area that big plains area that's going to be another city another little little township so that's the plan okay we'll try to we'll try to figure all that out but that's the idea okay what am i doing on time still got a little time yet so so let's go see now Whoop. okay crossbow safety it's important you know you gotta keep an eye on that trigger you know yep i i carry it loaded so that means i've got the possibility of misfiring and this just doesn't have a trigger or a trigger safety or anything like that so almost as dangerous as a Glock. I hate those things. As much as I like guns, I do not like Glocks. I think their concept of a trigger safety is flawed. But, you know, that's just me. I'm sure there are lots of people who think they're wonderful, but I am not one of them. All right, so, right, so we've got this going on here. Let's go ahead and take this tree out. All right. I'll grab a bunch of these leaves, too, because, come on. I, as I said, I'm going to want them to cover up lamps and stuff that are will be in the ground. Oh, I am so looking forward to the mossy carpet. Oh, that's going to be so nice. All right. So if I've got a house here, or a building of some sort here, let's put another one opposite it. And let's go ahead and just run this one this way. Okay, and then probably, let's see, how far do, over do I want this one to go? Probably back somewhere sort of like this. Now, if I'm bringing road this way, let's go ahead and just smooth this out here a little bit. You know, it's going to be nice just to have a little bit of a clear path, right? It's a little bit nicer for everybody if you don't have too many hills in your in your roads. So, 
So we'll do that. Let's clean that out just a little bit. Okay. Dude. All right, look at these guys. They're just standing there like, ha ha, we're going to scare you. Well, they did, man. Okay. So I guess I should kill them. Let's hear it for piercing arrows. And uh, okay, you go away, and you go away. Oh, hi. You're still alive. That's not fair. You should be dead, too. In all honesty, if I wanted you to be alive, you would be. Boy, those got some distance on them. All right. Cool. Fortunately, I keep milk candy. For just such eventualities. All right. Now I need a cow. Um, hello, cow? I thought I saw a cow not too far from here. Hello, cow. Ah, there you are. I see you, cow. Thank you. Your uh, contribution to the cause is much appreciated. Thanks. Cool. So, uh, yeah, the, the pillagers. This wasn't nice of them to just scare me like that. Jeez, nuggets, man. All right. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and bring this. I think I want to bring this one sort of over this way a little bit. Maybe I'll make it a... Oh, I kind of like that idea. Let's make it like a two-level... Two level building. It'll have a door down here by the road. Yeah, I think I think that'll work. Okay, so we'll just slap that down there. Something along those lines. Okay. All right. Now this is going to be too high. It's going to take out some of this hill. It's not a, I don't necessarily want to take out the whole hill, though I did a pretty good job of doing that. But I want to, I want to go ahead and just bring this up a little bit, okay? Just the, the back side of this hill. So when I built the wall, I was following the terrain. And that's part of the challenge on this particular build, at least for me, is... So building, building with the terrain, building with things that are not 90 degrees, right? Okay, and that's, so that's kind of what I'm trying to, to do here. So a lot of this is a sort of challenge to myself, and I think it's just going to look better. It's one of those things I I've discovered a little bit sometimes is that once in a while you just need to give yourself a challenge. It's like, what am I going to, how am I going to handle this? Okay, right. Or it's, I've been building the same way over and over again. I kind of need a, I need a change. Otherwise it just starts to get repetitive, right? And so I'm trying to avoid that as well. You know, I don't want it to be repetitive any more than uh, anyone else does. So it's like back in the Music Free Valley, I was partly by design. I've got a wall going around the outside of the valley and some towers. They're all the towers are all about the same design. And that was like that was the choice. But. Yeah, OK, so I think. Honestly, I think I'm going to take it the same. Sort of that get out of the way pig. All right. You know, 
But you're asking to be bacon. Okay, so yeah, let's go and just bring this down this way. And let's bring this this way now. Um, yeah. All right, so it's going to come in this way. Down, down, down. All right, and then is that wide enough? Do I want to take it? Yeah, let's bring it a, at least one more section. Okay. Now, grab some more wool because I apparently need it. All right, is that? Now, I'm going to bring this, I guess, even just a little bit wider. Now, now I'm going to bring this this way. Yeah, take that down. Okay. Okay, and... Okay, so that'll go there like that. Okay, so we've got ourselves a nice building set. It's got some weirdness, which is perfectly fine because it's going to come up against the wall. That's okay. And then I think I'll take out so some of these. I think they'll end up being, you know, multi-story, like maybe coming across the edge here. That's probably it's probably okay. In fact, so if I take. Uh, yeah, so let's take a little bit here. I'm just going to bring this right across this way. Yeah. Yeah, this will... This will be good. Do I want it to come out? Yeah, and I'm just going to run this all the way to the wall, I think. All right. Okay, grab some more torches. There we go. All right, so yeah, this will. <laughs> this is almost its own section of a, a wall in and of itself, which is okay. All right, let me go. Oh, it is about that time, so let me go ahead and take a quick nap. Then I'll come out and let's we'll go through the uh, what I've got blocked out for city and stuff and just see what that looks like. But I think this is going to be come on. All right, so we've got some stuff there. It's going to build up that way. Some buildings here. This makes sense a little bit. We've got a, the tunnel coming out. The road's going to split and go that way and it'll go that way that square will come out that's the uh sort of town square in fact it might slide forward just a little bit so we're gonna have some buildings here along this wall a couple of buildings here and then then i think i need to figure out what's going to go on with the road here um, i think the the plan was so you come through this gate here come across this so the road goes that way and a road goes that way and I was going to build up a little bit of something here in the middle yeah yeah I like the, yeah I was going to build this up along the middle with the road coming this way just so it, it forks so that part of it comes over this way into whatever this little town and actually, this might even be less town as much as if the road goes into the town this way, the road comes this way into sort of the courtyard for the, this castle. I've got this tunnel here. I may widen that. And so then things lead out into this little area as well. Right? So, which then leads out this way right so i'll have 
sorts of bunch of different caves and tunnels and things that will sort of allow access into different parts of of the city but then story wise lore wise could then be shut you can shut them off to to seal them off to protect them so if invaders like those pillagers if they were to come in this way you could seal off roads here and here if they come through you can seal off the roads into this, those towns over over there and just help section things off and then they have to fight their way through all of that stuff so that's the idea anyway cool and then this some of this I'll, I might leave natural, just light it up, leave the trees and make, you know, there's still some park area, some greenery, some nice green space. That's important. Um, the one thing that's, uh, one thing I haven't really plotted out in, in this world here is like farmland. If I were to have farmland, where would it be? And it actually might end up over here. Like this is a fairly large area now i'm gonna have this is gonna be a, a little castle fort on this side but uh you know i could like bridge across and okay here's some there's some farmland here or you know i've got this big area you know i could do well if it were real like you know build automated farms and just let that you know that those are going to feed the population, but, you know, decorative farmland is a thing, so. So, yeah. So, that's the idea. That's the way things look here, and that's, I like what, where it's going, so. Ah, oh, yeah, then I'll sort of clean this up. I'm going to put in some water here. I don't know if I'm going to put it, put it over, um what I'm going to put it over, you know, I think some concrete, like blue or black and with the water on top of it, you know, the black would, would be good. It would sort of match the dark mirror that's in the, um, in the throne room a little bit. So anyway, that's the, that's where that, the sits. It's not bad. I think it's going to be a really interesting thing as I just continue to build this, this area up, but I think I'm gonna decide to start putting some. Maybe not today, but at other times or this week, maybe I'll start putting up some of the walls around where the other castles are gonna be and that type of thing, and uh, we'll just go with that, you know. So yeah, so that's gonna be fun. I think it'll be all sorts of exciting. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited. I don't know about you. But uh, definitely want to let those credits roll. Thank you all for participating today. And uh, certainly give a shout out to all of my subs on Patreon. Uh, you can be subscribe over on Patreon too by going to patreon.com slash musicfreegaming. Again, that's patreon.com slash musicfreegaming for uh, exclusive content and all other fun stuff. Um, you can also follow me on the social medias at uh, Music for Gaming on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. So, so be sure to check that ac action out. And uh, until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music for Gaming signing off. <laughs>